All right, Chase Lee Hockey here with the Blue Futon. Let's open up those steel books. Heck to the freaking yes. So the first one doing this crank is because for some reason it took a while for crank to get to my store. But let's open this bad boy up. Like I said, steel books for Lionsgate are pretty awesome. Let's see what this looks like. Oh yeah, Jason Statham open. Oh yeah, that's cool. That is dope. That's basically him. Just so much adrenaline. And if you can see his rib cages are actually like syringes. That's pretty actually awesome. And on the back, more syringes, just ready to mess up Jason Statham. So you have that right there, as well as this. So absolutely fun a little steel book. And of course, matches. Absolutely love it. Oh, and they even changed the discs too. Heck yeah, because the discs sure didn't look like this. So you have that crank right there. They need to bring crank 2 to 4K. They don't have that yet, do they? I think they only did the first one. So what are we waiting for? What what are we waiting for? Uh, what are we waiting? Oh, wait, there's that. And of course, just literally balls to the wall craziness for Crank. And these directors, I don't know where they went. Like when they they done some weird movies that I'm like, what what are you guys doing? Uh, especially the one with Panama, horrible. That was only one of them. I think one of them is trying to do something different soon. Uh, they did Ghost Rider two. I think they did Mom and Dad with Nicolas Cage. So they have interesting ones, but they need to go back to like the crank style of filmmaking. It's super fun. So let's go with Cliffhanger now. Uh, this is one was on 4K quite a long time ago, but I guess they decided to do a steelbook version, kind of like what they did with Mask of Zorro as well as uh, Air Force One. So I said, why not? Let's get this Cliffhanger steelbook. Sony always does the cheap paper. Now I'm going to guess the inside of this is also just a clear... Uh, like silver color in the background. Anyway, this is literally just a still from the movie cliffhanger. It's very matte, very matte, no glossiness whatsoever. So it's kind of cool, kind of cheap on the, on levels too. On the back, another still the movie, not the greatest uh transition, and there's some pixelation. So you know, not, not the greatest. Uh oh, I was wrong though. I was wrong. But anyway, there's the cliffhanger 4K disc. And here is the cliffhanger DVD, which makes sense now of what they decided to do on the front and back to match the discs. So, yeah, I'll, I'll give it a... You get a little bit of points back for that. And on the front, it's actually a, another still of the movie that kind of connects with the back. So I will give that props for doing something a little bit different, Sony. Because I won't lie, Sony. I'm used to those cheesy ones. And apparently, there's going to be a cliffhanger remake. Or not a remake, but a sequel with the director that just did uh, Kandahar. He did Angel Has Fallen. He did Greenland. He's also doing a sequel to Greenland, but also apparently Cliffhanger. So, can't wait for that. So, this next one. Dungeons & Dragons. A shock. I won't lie, though. Looking at this steelbook, I'm a little nervous what Paramount decided to do for the interior of this. Uh, this was an expensive one, but if you're a total tech member, you get like 20% off when you buy multiple ones. So that's why I kind of wait for. But I am... I'm a little nervous. Like I said, it kind of looks very boring, but let's see what it actually looks like. So Paramount, yeah, yeah, I was kind of afraid of this. So very much a silhouette of the characters. I mean, this nice little colors with the reds and the oranges and the, the yellows popping, the nice little blacks. So it's pretty cool, but the back is literally just the and symbol. Yeah, you can see my camera, so you can see how glossy road is, but really the and symbol. It does something a little bit better. And yep, Paramount does her simple little blue for Blu-ray. And the black for 4K. Nothing more, nothing less. And the interior is just them walking. And it's is that Hugh Grant's character as well. It is not Hugh Grant's character, just making sure. But yeah. A uh, little underwhelming. I guess you could say it's a little bit underwhelming because this didn't crack a hundred million in domestically. I do think, however, worldwide it maybe like two twenty. If I'm not mistaken, it's probably a loss for Paramount. So they probably had a deal with Best Buy to do a steel book. I don't know if this is a Best Buy exclusive, but then they decided, hey, uh, we got to make it anyway, so let's kind of make it cheap. 
but Frank is the best one. Not shocked. Chase out for the blue futon. Like, comment, subscribe. What do you think, futon? Toby, boop, turn the thing around. a great day. I had to get that perp out. I don't care if you watch this today, tomorrow, week, tomorrow, month, tomorrow, year, tomorrow. I love every single freaking one of you. And now, yeah, as you can tell, I just got a haircut. So it's kind of like really floffy. Is that even a word? Floffy? Fluff? Fluff? I'm just, um, what do you want me to say? Sometimes I'm just an idiot. Yeah. <laughs>